What's up guys, GP here back with another episode and today, a different episode. Today I want to get out, I want to get out into the city. I haven't gotten to bike around the city as much as I've wanted to or much as I've wanted to. It's been raining a lot, it's been some bad weather, but it's also getting cooler. So I want to make it outside before, get outside some before it gets too cold out here. But while I bike around today, while I adventure around today, I made some edibles. Really, I'm going to eat some edibles before. Um, I have some 50 and 25 milligram edibles here from Pali. There is not much difference in between the two of them. Just drop the package. There isn't much difference in between the two of them other than the amount. So I'll pull the edible out just to show you guys what they look like. Like these, they have different flavors of these. They have some orange, really just yellow in this color of these type. Let me bust open the 25 milligram just to make sure I'm right. I don't think they're any different though. I haven't opened this package yet though. Yeah, so it's the exact same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat more than I usually do. Usually I eat one to see if they work or whatever. But today I want to bike around. I want to have some fun, be out there for a little while. So let me see how many I want. I'm going to eat them until I feel like I need to stop probably. The purple flavor that I showed you. Like a fruit punch. It's like a fruit punch mixed with a purple Scooby-Doo fruit snack. To give y'all, if y'all are any candy eaters, because I grew up a candy eater. I love fruit snacks from like the Scooby-Doo fruit snacks and shit like that. But that's 50 milligrams down. I am eating out of the 50 milligram bag just to make sure. Here is one of the orange slices. That's good. It's like an orange sun kiss. It's crazy how much easier Delta 8 Distillate is to hide in these products than it is for Delta 9 CBD and stuff like that. The taste in those are so much more prominent, so much more loud. And also just to give you guys a hint or some words of wisdom when it comes to looking at Delta 8 edibles specifically, the big difference in my opinion is whether they're sprayed or infused. These seem to be infused, like these thicker ones like this are typically like infused ones. It's not just where they got a huge ass batch and they just sprayed across the top of them, it's infused. And you can oftentimes tell by how greasy the bag is. Like, I don't know if you guys can see inside of that, but it's not grease lining all inside the bag and this lid is really what it is lining it, but it looks like grease. Um, but this is the yellow one, third one. And that's all three flavors that are in the bag. So it's the yellow, the orange, and that purple one. Which one do I like the most? I like the orange one most. So I'm gonna have one more. That'll take me up to 200 milligrams. I think that'll get me at a, a good level to get a good, probably like 15 mile bike ride in. One more. These are the 50 milligram options. So the taste for the 25 isn't any different. I just didn't want to eat double really the amount of pieces of candy before I go for this bike ride. So it also does say they're vegan, um, Delta 9 THC free, so no Delta 9 at all, pesticide free, and it's real sugar cane, real cane sugar in the edibles. So I'm excited about this. I've had them once before, I think. To be honest, it was a while ago. So today I have 200 milligrams in my system. I got some of these Pally edibles. I got a new bike recently. Not the nicest bike in the world, but it does the job. I'm gonna strap the GoPro on today and see what we can find. And then after I get done with the ride, I'll get back into the studio, be chilling. Probably won't be sweating too much, luckily, because it's pretty cool outside, like in the 50s. And I'll be able to come back and give you guys a good review. See you guys out there. So I'm going to keep it real with y'all. That ride was insane. I actually can't understand, or under, not even understand, I can't understate how crazy that ride was. I don't even understand... Like people were trying to kill me today and I realized also how different the streets are out here as in it's safer for bikers as in there's a way for bikers to go out here like there's space but you also have to be very very careful because everything's so jam-packed everything's so compact 
But it was a crazy ride, but I can honestly say the edibles helped me. I hate to say this, because I hate to encourage it, but for a lot of people, including myself, like when I consume cannabis, especially like Indica, like Delta 8 hybrid Indica type products, whether it's Delta 8 or Delta 9, time seems to like slow down a little bit. So today, as I was riding, I don't think I got it good on footage and I really wish I could show everybody um, because the camera, it was a, a panic moment. But I'm riding probably like 17, 18 miles an hour, you know, 16, 18 miles an hour. Not crazy fast, but also not just like slow. Maybe up to 20, to be honest, because I was moving at that point. My momentum had caught up. And then a car comes out of the intersection, but it comes blinded by like a truck here and it comes around like a blind corner and I don't have a stop, but it's an opening right there for cars to go on that intersection on the street. So I'm flying, I see it coming, I hit the back brake. I have been practicing for like the last, just like three, four days since I've had the bike, hitting the back brake so the back brake skids because you always want that back brake skid, not front brake go over the handlebars. You know what I'm saying? So I back, hit the back brake, so I'm faded. I hit, I hit like 200 milligrams, but this slowed everything down for me. I'm trying to tell you. Hit the back brake, I'm skidding, and as I skid, I'm probably literally at like this angle. You know, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Like I'm skidding, the car goes by fast, because that car's going like 35, 40, you know, 35, 40, I'm on a bike, that's fast. So, as I go around, it cuts in front of me. I even the bike back out. In the video, I hear myself go, woo! And then I keep riding. That is one example of as a kind of extreme sports fan, not crazy extreme, but I like to snowboard. I like to like board sports. I like biking. I like doing action shit. Sometimes that weed will slow a situation down for you to allow you to be present in the moment. Because if I slam both brakes, much higher chance the bike stalls me out, it's a little bit wet on the ground, and I fly over the handlebars into that car. Hitting the back brakes allows the back wheel to lock, slide out, slow the bike down enough for me to then straighten up, stay on the bike, foot never even hit the ground or anything. Also, years of cycling and biking, you know, like for like years, like hundreds thousands of miles biked but regardless that was insane also seeing like the waves all choppy around the city and stuff like that um like on the beach around the city like shoreline with the with the buildings and shit i'm like damn this shit's pretty beautiful i was sitting there just riding obviously sitting there i'm on a bike just looking at everything i'm going the wrong way part of the time a little bit high you know what i'm saying but just seeing everything, I'm, I'm a person that's like, I take in so much stuff around me. Like that's literally why I don't drive a lot. Actually, I, I used to drive a lot. But that's why I don't like driving a lot or I, why I realized driving isn't one of my best skills because I take in so much information. It, I struggle to like hone in and focus on something. So I was zone out of one thing and focus on like all the peripheral shit. And that's why at least if I do that on a bike, I'm only gonna hurt myself, you know, in a car, it could be it could be more dangerous. But today that ride, just seeing the city, seeing everything, seeing it kinda in a rainy, subdued mood. Sorry if the footage isn't amazing. I have an old ass GoPro, so it doesn't even have like internal stabilization in it. But I tried to give y'all an idea or a view a point of view video from how it is for me to bike around the city and just chill. And about these edibles, like I said, they slowed shit down for me. Y'all can see my eyes. I started feeling them about probably like 35 minutes into the ride because I started riding pretty soon after I ate them, probably like 15 to 20 minutes after I ate them. So they hadn't kicked in yet, but about 30 minutes into the ride, they fully kicked in and it ended up being like one of the most eventful rides with the cars in the street like standing like I needed to just to slow this shit down because it was moving fast and I'm moving fast and I'm not biking necessarily how the law says maybe you're supposed to bike in certain instances but I swear like if you follow straight street law sometimes like you're putting yourself in a tough situation because you're supposed to move like a car but bikes can't start like cars do 
you know, in terms of like just start to go, like it's slow, and then more cars get in the intersection. Chicago has like these triple intersections to where you turn, you go here, you go here, you go there, and you're on a bike going slow. It doesn't like you don't just have all day, so you kind of have to learn the balance of safety, but also moving quickly. But I think these Pally Edibles helping me today, helped me with that today. And it's cool they have the 25 and 50 milligram option. I know not everybody wants to get 50, even 50 milligrams faded, but it's an option for you. I know more people wanted to see me eat more edibles or whatever. So I had 200 milligrams today. It was a good amount. I'm feeling good. I'm hoping I can edit this video before I need to take a nap. But if I can't, then So be it, I might have to take a nap. But I got time, I got time before the video comes out later. It's a great Friday, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I can't forget to stress this enough, go Astros. Um, it's a great day to be an Astros fan. Hope we beat the Red Sox. Shout out Pally for these edibles. I feel great. I feel great, even after a tumultuous ride, to say the least. I feel great. I'll see you guys later.